Well, good morning, everyone. I'm Jim Bob the Mossman Ferris, and this is your morning coffee with Mossman for June the 18th, and it is Thursday, 2020. Uh, yes, today looks like it will be yet again a uh, another 90 some degree temperature day, sunny. Looks like we're going to have it, but there's going to be a little bit of something different, and we're going to get to that. Today, the high is going to be right around 92 degrees, sunny skies. Uh, a stray shower or a thunderstorm may be possible during the day today, but it's going to be sunny to partly cloudy, okay? So, I'm guessing more towards the afternoon, the whole partly cloudy uh, chance of a stray thunderstorm. Uh, we're going to have about a 20% chance of that uh, precipitation with a south-southeast wind at 10 to 20 miles per hour this evening. It says, scattered thunderstorms early, then mainly cloudy overnight with thunderstorms likely. Storms may contain strong gusty winds. So, look for some um, leaves uh, to drop again because with uh, like river birches and uh, you know diseased uh, leaves off of the trees due to fungus that was you know um, a few weeks about a month ago somewhere in there um, that has been you know starting to come down from the uh, trees will continue to do so with uh, the possibility of the storms coming in so just be aware of that um, looks like we're going to have a low right around 70 degrees with an 80% chance of precipitation and a south-southeast wind that will be shifting to the north-northeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Okay. Then tomorrow for our Friday, we're almost there. Uh, looks like scattered thunderstorms in the morning, then mainly cloudy during the afternoon with thunderstorms likely. Um... We've got a high right around 82 degrees with a 67% chance of precipitation and a south-southwest wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Uh, tomorrow evening looks to be scattered thunderstorms in the evening, uh, then mainly cloudy overnight with thunderstorms likely. So basically, tomorrow looks like a stormy day. Okay. Um, We'll have a low right around 66 degrees, an 80% chance of precipitation, and a light and variable wind. What does light and variable mean? Well, it means that it's going to be less than 5 miles per hour, okay, um, at times. And it's going to be switching directions at times. It may just stop for a minute and then pick back up. So that's what light and variable means. That's what the weather is doing. Now, my... Uh, strong suggestion, okay, is if you are seeing, um, you know, leaves already on the ground, more than likely it's uh, due to fungus and, you know, insect activity, but more fungus, okay? And here's why. Because the trees that I have treated, okay, um, they still have to go through their, uh, the leaves still have to go through their life cycle, okay? And with a diseased leaf, it just speeds up the life cycle to where it'll turn yellow or sometimes just brown and then fall, okay? Um, during this time of the year as well, Another uh, potential issue for uh, leaves falling off of uh, trees is with river birches especially is lack of moisture um, because I've seen several, and I do mean several, uh, river birches that didn't have a, a diseased leaf on them, but certain, uh, you know, any disease on the, on the leaves that fall, but like certain ones like here and there would... Um, uh, turn yellow or yeah or just fall right off the right off the tree so just be aware that that's what's uh that's what's more than likely going on now if it is something like um iron chlorosis 
uh, with uh, with trees. It's a uh, it's a usually it's a heavy yellowing of the leaves first, okay, and that can be taken care of with an iron injection. So then that way the the leaves uh, that way the the tree gets what it needs, but the early signs of iron chlorosis in a tree, okay, is the 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 color starts, you know, across the entire tree, starts to um, get a little bit of a yellowish tinge to the green, okay? The green's just a little bit off compared to the rest of the trees around it, okay? And when you see that, you give a professional a call, such as myself, and you know, let us know saying, hey, I think my tree might have iron chlorosis. Here's why. Um, you know, uh, Heritage Lawns and Irrigation, myself, um, as the tree and shrub coach, we can come out and get that tree in, inspected, you know, it's just to find out if it is indeed iron chlorosis. And we can give those um, in, in injections to the tree try and save uh, the, the leaves that are there. Now, if they are a bright yellow green, then they may be too far, uh, too far gone in order to save them from, you know, from falling off the tree. So the, if there's a question at all as to what's happening with your tree, you give me a call, okay? Um, my number is 913-927-5829. You could also call our office at Heritage Lawns and Irrigation. That number is 913-451-4664. Again, my number is 913-927-5829, and our office number is 913-451-4664. You give us a call and let us know what's going on. I would be happy to come out get things scoped out and uh, see if we can uh, get your trees back in, in, a, in a more healthier uh, fashion. So, um, and as far as lawns are concerned, make sure, okay, that if you're watering it, if you're watering your lawn, please, please, please water in the morning, not in the afternoon. Okay, even though you want to give your lawn a drink, okay, it is more detrimental to your lawn and to your plants to give them a drink in the heat of the day. Don't do that. This is essentially like, okay, you know how it's been hot. You go outside and you sweat and stuff like that, right? Well, imagine somebody coming up to you uh, and saying, hey, man, Here's a, uh, here's, a, here's a bottle of water for you. That bottle of water is warm. And on top of that, they throw a um, dark um, and damp blanket, heavy damp blanket over top of you. Now, imagine that, okay? That's what... That's what happens when you water a lawn in the heat of the day, okay? That grass freaks out, okay? It is under heavy stress at that point, and you throw water on top of it, makes it that much worse. You think you're helping? It's not. So, please, be aware of that. Same thing goes for with, uh, with plants. And um, when you're watering plants, number one, like, you know, hydrangeas, roses, really any flowering, you know, uh, you know, shrub, stuff like that. Right now, hostas. If you're watering any of that, try to water the soil uh, then watering the um, then, uh, then watering the fo uh, foliage because you want to have it be more on the ground, okay? The foliage, okay, 
when it comes to a plant, its job is to be the, the solar panels, okay? It gets the energy from the sun and uh, processes it, you know, in the chloroplasts and all that other fun stuff. So then that way it does the photosynthesis thing, okay? But the ground is where the plant gets the water, okay? Now, if there's rainwater on the, on the leaves, great. But if you're going to run tap water for your plants, make sure that you get uh, some sort of like, you know, soaker hose or um, a, uh, a hose with a little bit of a, like a, like a diffuser at the end of it. So in that way, the water's not eroding specifically at the base of the, uh, of the plant, but it is dispersed amongst the, amongst the soil and uh, among, uh, yeah, across the soil. So in that way, everything gets, you know, watered and then it goes down into the soil. That's what, that's what um, I do. That's what I strongly suggest. So keep that in mind. That is my buck and a half for today. Um, and uh, my gamer tag, okay, if anybody's interested. Okay, I play as uh, Mossman JB, okay, and uh, you can find me on um, on Fortnite uh, playing, and um, I'm I've been thinking about doing Overwatch as well, but you know whatnot. But uh, anyways, I just figured I'd uh, uh, throw that out there. If um, if uh, you send me a, a message over uh, Facebook. You know, um, you you wanna you wanna play Fortnite? I'm all about it. Um, yeah, we can we can figure something out. And um, I was gonna say something else. I hate that. Do you ever get that? You have that little thought in your mind, and then poof goes away. Anyways, probably doesn't matter. But. Um, I hope everybody has a great day, and I'll go ahead and get off of here, and uh, uh, if, the, if the thought, oh, that's what it was, all of my Facebook uh, followers, you know, with Oski, uh, Oski TV following on Facebook, please, 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 um, like and subscribe on YouTube, okay? So then that way, um, new videos coming up, you can watch them there. And we, you can support the Oski TV YouTube channel. That's what I was, that's what I was trying to remember. So I got that in and uh, I appreciate uh, you hitting that uh, like and subscribe buttons um, down below. And uh, please leave uh, your uh, constructive uh, comments down below as well. So then that way um, I can get uh, a little bit uh, better, uh, you know, understanding of uh, what you know, people would like to see from Oski TV, stuff like that. Um, and uh, we can we can go from there. And with that, uh, this has been your Morning Coffee with Mossman for June the 18th, Thursday, 2020. Remember... Treat others the way you want to be treated. Know that the world is better off because you are in it. And know that I am always pulling for you. And for myself, Jabal the Moss Man Ferris, have a great day, everybody. And uh, we'll see you next time on Morning Coffee with Moss Man. So, cheers. Have a good day, everybody. Mm. Mm. Yep. <sighs> have a thoroughly awesome Thursday, everybody. We'll see you.